With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, here the question is, in the circuit shown, when the key K is pressed at time t equal to 0, which of the following statements about current in resistor AB is true? So, here we have given a circuit and we have said that when the key, here the key K is closed at time t equal to 0. So, what will be uh, the correct statement about the current in this resistor, uh, in this resistor AB? So, we can see here there are, there is a battery, there is a switch and there are two resistors and one capacitor here in the circuit. So, initially, suppose this initially capacitor is uncharged. So, when the key is closed, the circuit in the circuit current will start flowing and the capacitor is initially uh, uncharged. So, the current means which is the charge flowing through this wires will be uh, consumed by this capacitor and it will start charging itself. That's why all the current which is passing through the circuit is absorbed by this capacitor and no current will flow through this resistor. So, we can say that equivalent resistance of the circuit at that time is only this 1000 ohm. So, initially equivalent resistance is 1000 ohm at time t equal to 0 and the voltage or potential was at that time 2 volt. So, the current will be at that time I is equal to V divided by R1. So, it is 2 volt divided by 1000 ohm. So, we can say that current initially at time T is equal to 0 is 2 milli ampere. So, this is the current at initial t, time T equal to 0. So, 2 mi, uh, milli ampere at all time T uh, is given in the first option. So, we have to calculate the current after time T equal to 0 also. Now, this capacitor is absorbing the charge and charging itself. Now, one point there will be reached such that this capacitor will be fully charged and now this capacitor will not absorb all the charges flowing in the current circuit. So, now the, circuit, the current will also flow through this 1000 ohm resistance also. That's why now the effective resistance of the circuit must be other than 1000 ohm because now this and this resistors are in series combination with each other. So, the equivalent resistance will be 1000 plus 1000. It is equal to 2000 ohm. And now the current flowing will be I is equal to V divided by R2. It is 2 volt divided by 2000 ohm. So, we can say that it is 1 milliampere. So, we can say the current for the circuit initially at time t equal to 0 is 2 milliampere and after that the current will be 1 milliampere with the increasing time. So, if we check here the correct option is option D. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.